opening up with opening statement about this weekend's game, and we'll get started with questions. Yeah, looking forward to getting back out on the field. Um, we, had, we had a good practice this morning um, and, and really trying to move forward after last week's game against North Texas um, you know, and put that behind us. And the quickest way to do that is, is to get back out on the practice field and get to work again. And so I um, thought we had a good, good first practice for the week. Um, we know we've got a tough game this weekend against Nebraska, um, a great opponent. I mean, this is going to be um, one of the, the greatest environments um, really in all of college football. Um, their fan base is incredible. Um, and so I think it'll be a lot of fun for our players to experience that um, and to go up and, and uh, you know, and play against a, a great opponent in Nebraska. Um, they're very big on defense. Um, offensively, um, they do a great job of running the football. Um, they make no bones about the type of football um, and the style of brand of football that they want to play. They want to play a physical style um, on offense and defense and special teams as well. And so it'll be a great challenge for our guys to, to match that and, and to be able to, uh, to compete. Um, we're going to have to have um, a lot of great effort um, with offensive line and defensive line on both sides of the football. And so I'm excited about the challenge. I'm looking forward to get up to, to Lincoln, Nebraska and playing in this football game and, and uh, finishing out our non-conference slate. Yeah, we're still trying to determine, you know, really the, the extent of the injury. Um, and we'll know more as the week goes just in terms of his av availability and, you know, ability to throw the football and, and how effective he can be um, with that shoulder injury. You know, I, I think Jack was, was ready um, in terms of that. He was prepared to go in and, and executed well. Um, you know, he did a good job of moving the football. Um, you know, we've said all along, you know, we have a lot of confidence in Hank and Jack. I, mean, I think they're both good players. Um, I think they both have gotten better because of each other. Um, they, they both are, are, are in the film rooms together. Um, they really um, do a great job of, of, of supporting each other and challenging each other at the same time. And so, um, you know, he did a good job in the game, Jack did, of bringing us back. Um, and so, you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll have all of our quarterbacks available for Saturday. Um, but was pleased with how, um, you know, the moment arose and, and Jack was ready to get in there and to compete. Yeah, yeah, we, we've sustained some injuries in that running back room. And, and I tell you, Coach Teddy's done a great job of, of just getting the next guy ready to get out there and play. Um, you know, 22 with Charvis, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how his week goes. Um, don't know what his availability will be. You know, Tyree, I expect him to play. Um, you know, I think I'm encouraged by uh, Marquise Crosby, you know, number three for us. I don't know if it'll be this week or next, but I do think he's getting closer and closer um, to helping us and getting back. Um, yeah. To remember, also, he's been out for a significant amount of time, and so it'll be smart on our part in terms of how we kind of get him back going and involved in our offense. But um, have been encouraged with where he's at, um, and so you know, Jacob Fields was a little banged up Saturday night. You know, Keith Willis is definitely out for this game and and for the foreseeable future um, with a high ankle sprain, and so um, we do have our hands full there, and we're going against the team that's one of the top five teams in the country in terms of rush defense, um, I believe. Um, they average around fifty-five yards a game um, and so we're going to have to be creative um, with what we do in terms of being able to run the football because we're going to have to be able to do that uh, you know against a great opponent and so um, but I have a lot of confidence in coach Teddy I have a lot of confidence in those guys in the room and, and there's a lot of courage and a lot of grit I think that that running back room has displayed through the first part of the season Yeah, there's definitely an awareness on our part, you know, of how big they are up front, how disruptive they are with their linebackers and their defensive front. They do a great job of rushing the passer. Um, they're, 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 they're the biggest defensive front that um, we've played and will play. Um, they're huge up front. Um, and they're very active. Um, they're very athletic. They have length and, and athleticism. So um, there's, there's definitely an awareness from our standpoint, from a pass protection, um, and putting our guys in the best positions to be successful. Just how, how much is stress today or this week for defense to, to get the ball uh, turned over? 
Well, I think you saw the difference for them last week. You know, they didn't have those turnovers. You know, as as in in, in the last week's game, um, and and uh, I think you know with any transition again, like we saw last week, you know, the transition of, of from one offensive scheme to another, um, when you're getting a quarterback's feet wet, and and it takes a little bit because there's a lot of rhythm and there's a lot of timing that's involved with offensive football, and so I think any time that there's a transition, you know, I think it'll take a little while with the quarterback because some of the things that you see in practice as a quarterback, you know, the speed of the game is is a little bit different. It's a little bit more faster pace. And so just getting into a rhythm of the offense, I think they did that last week. Um, Nebraska did offensively. Um, and so, you know, I think they do a great job, you know, in terms of their running the football, um, their, their play action shots, and, and they played very smart football last week. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to, to figure out you know ways to get extra hats to the box to the box. Um, both quarterbacks, you know, whether Sims plays or or it's Heinrich, they both do a great job of running the football with zone read, um, quarterback draw, um, and also with quarterback power. Um, and so, you know, we're gonna have to be able to find ways to get an extra hat to the box, um, which that leaves you in man coverage on the outside. So we've got to be really good there in terms of our coverage. And so, um, they do pose some problems. Um, it's a it's a little bit it's a lot different, you know, in terms of a structure standpoint than what we just faced. You know, where Chandler was able to to create some plays with his feet because of the spread and everything. Everything spread out, and he was able to get some running lanes and take off and hurt us there. This is a little bit different, just because um, you have an idea of where everybody's going to be at. Um, but it's just about executing, and, and whether you know they, they call you know whether it's a 50 plays a game and they run it 40 plays a game, they're gonna they're gonna they're they're really good at what they do. And from a defensive standpoint, 40 snaps out of 40 snaps, we've got to be exactly where we're supposed to be in terms of our gaps and our hats um, to be able to stop their run. Yeah, we're still, we're, you know, we had six plays in the first quarter, and on, on two third downs, really, it's just execution. We would have kept those drives alive. Um, Hank threw a beautiful pass on the first third down of the game that you're going to have an explosive play to Ryan Rivera. And Ryan's a sure-handed kid. I mean, that's the thing is, is, is he's got some of the best hands on our football team, and he's made that catch numerous times. And so it's just getting guys settled in. You know, again, Ryan, this is his first and, and only, unfortunately, a year with us and, and getting used to playing in a completely different offensive system for him than what he played at, at Cal Poly. And, and you know, you know, and so from that standpoint, it's just going out there. The next time we have that opportunity to rise, I anticipate Ryan making that play, you know, and, and I anticipate us converting on the next third down. And so this game was very, it was very easy to see. I mean, we didn't convert our, our third downs. We had two of them in the first quarter, and it was really the same way the rest of the game. We didn't do a great job of converting them on offense and, and getting ourselves off, our team off to a start, a fast start. Yeah, I mean, it's high compliment and high praise. Um, coach Rule's a phenomenal coach. Um, was able to compete against him when he was at Baylor um, and has done a phenomenal job in terms of rebuilding programs and, and is very, I think, uh, very clear and, and what he wants from his programs and what he, how he wants his teams to play. And, and so he's seen a lot of football coming from the Carolina Panthers. Um, and for him to say that about Smoke, I think it's a very high compliment. Um, you know, we were watching practice today and, and we, were, we were talking about his offensive staff, as an offensive staff. Smoke's played here for six years. And, and I, I, we're going to go back and we're going to count it up. And we're going to count up how many practices that he's been here at Louisiana Tech. And, and for every practice, yeah, it, it's very same. Uh, we have to slow him down. I mean, he practices at one speed. Um, and, and that's the things that, you know, the, the production is phenomenal. The plays that he made Saturday night are phenomenal. Um, but the way he's handled his business since we've been here in our two years, you can't replace a guy that has as, as many credentials as he's uh, attained and how he practices every single day. From a coaching standpoint, I mean, it's just a lot of joy, um, a lot of joy to coach um, someone who practices the same way that he plays with the same intensity and the same speed. I kid with the guys all the time when you talk about, you know, and the guys that have played a lot of football, like there's a lot of miles on those tires. Like he's got a lot of miles on his tires and he's still running like he's he's brand new. And 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 I think that just shows his passion for the game. And and uh, so I, I think he's a um, you know, he, he's he's a joy for us to coach. Um, you know, and, and uh, he's a really good football player, and he's meant a lot to this program in the last six years that he's been here. And I think, you know, again, I said it after the first week and, and uh, you know, in the era of college football where you've stayed somewhere, you've entrenched yourself to a program, to a community, um, I think it says a lot, and, and hopefully
hopefully, you know, now this week's a big challenge because they're fast on defense. And, and, you know, our margin for error on the perimeter is very small um, because of how fast they are. And they really tackle well. And so we'll be challenged. Smoke will be challenged from that standpoint. Yeah, I think it's just trying to get him easy touches um, with all of our playmakers, you know, and trying to figure out what are our advantages and, and try to really expose those and try to, you know, play to those strengths. And so um, throwing the ball vertically down the field with them, you know, getting him the ball in space, um, you know, once again, they're a really good tackling football team. And so, um, you know, we're going to have to make sure we win on our perimeter blocks um, whenever we do um, get the ball out in space. And so um, I think for us, that's the main thing is, is when we get those opportunities, we have to be patient with them. Our execution has to be at a very high level. And, and then we have to also be patient from an offensive standpoint of understanding that, you know, four yards, five yards against these guys um, is, is really good. And then, and then hopefully you'll be able to hit an explosive and, and just continue to be persistent and consistent in our execution in terms of moving the ball down the field. You know, I think in the second half, I would think that, you know, just the volume of reps and the fatigue, I think, caught up to us a little bit. And part of that is us being able to sustain drives on offense and keeping our defense off the field. Um, you know, the first drive of the second half, you know, we should have came away with points. And I think that would have given our team a little bit more of, of, a, of an energy. Um, and so I think those are the things to, to continue that we've got to tackle well. Um, you know, in the second half, I think whenever we got a little worn out, we missed tackles that we typically had not missed. Um, we got to make sure we're tight in our run fits, you know, and we gave up more explosive pass plays in this past game than we had previously and, and in a long time. And so um, to eliminate those, you've got to win your one on ones. You know, we play a lot of man coverage on the outside and they're going to know where we're at. And, and when the ball's in the air, we've got to do a great job of playing the ball and then also playing the hands. Um, and so for us this week, I think it's important on early downs. Um, to keep them to do a good job of tackling, um, to keep them in second and third and longs, and that plays to our advantage. Any more questions? Thank you, guys. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank you all.